Um, jumping back in here, um, this is the next part of the series. If you're watching them in order, then you already know that we hooked up the power wires to our head unit. I've unplugged the harness from the back of the of the head unit for a couple of reasons. One, I don't want to have I don't want to have power to the head unit right now because you really don't want to have power to the head unit while you're still connecting these power wires or these uh, speaker wires. Okay, again, sorry to sound like a broken record. I've got the positive negative hooked up and then I also hooked up my red accessory wire and that tells the head unit to turn on. Again, when you have your car, when you when you put this in your car, you're generally not going to plug this directly into the red wire. There's usually a harness and uh, I'll show you a little bit of more a little more on, on harnesses and actually plugging one in and uh, actually showing you one in, in use in a car. Anyhow, so I'm doing this just so the unit powers up. I've got my positive negative and then the next thing I did just for the sake of time is I've already hooked up three of my speaker wires and right here this is my driver side speaker passenger side speaker these are the front doors these represent the front doors and these represent the rear doors passion uh, driver side passenger side this is channel one channel two channel three channel four um, in a, in a car, in car audio or even in home audio these are considered now fortunately this head unit has a color code match here so it's easy but most of, as I stated earlier, most of these uh, colors for the speaker wires are all uh, pretty standard. Um, and I covered that in the previous section. But so far, what I've got left is my left rear door needs to get plugged into my green positive and negative. And if I look here just to be sure, green says that uh, the green is my positive for the rear left speaker and the green black is the negative. Not sure if you can see that in the video, but all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this is my negative, that's my positive. On this wire, which is represents my speaker wire, it's plugged into the back of this unit. I've already plugged into the negative and positive terminal, and in a later section when we cover a little bit more on speakers, um, I'll show you how to plug the terminals in. It's pretty easy, uh, but just keeping this simple for now. Okay, now. I'm going to strip away this wire. Okay. Then on the head unit as well, I strip away this wire. Oops, got a little shard there. Okay. And then for quick connections and safety, I'm using some crimp caps. And in this particular case, what we did is um, the thicker wire in this case. And it also, ha um, how do I say this? In this case, we're just following suit with what the um, with the head unit. The head unit has a stripe as the negative, so we're going to go ahead and follow suit. This has a white line going down it, so we're going to use that as our negative. The positive is the thicker wire that has nothing on it, so we're just kind of following suit of the head unit. So I'm going to take my negative, plug it in, or twist them together. Take my crimpers, then I take my positive, and just like in the previous video on the battery, we're now creating a circuit. There's uh, power to the speaker and then returning from the speaker. Okay, so all we really did so far, all we've done in addition to the previous section is that we have connected four speaker wires to our front, rear, to the two fronts and the two rears. So now I'm going to take my harness, plug it back into my head unit, and my head unit's going to fire up because I still have juice. You'll hear it fire up. Okay, now, before I turn it on, I don't have, a, I don't have an FM antenna on here. And I don't have a CD, but what I do have, this unit is really cool because I can take my iPod and actually I can use an iPod or a flash drive or even a USB drive and this unit can read it. So I take this, plug it in my USB cable on the back of my head unit, not sure if you can see that or not. Pull that over here. Into the, this is a USB cable. I turn on the unit and uh, as you can tell, it takes control of the of the iPod. It says Alpine on there. I'm not sure if you can see that. Sorry if it's upside down. 
So when I push the power button, the unit fires up and it usually defaults to the tuner mode. So I push source one time, it takes me to disk. I don't have a CD in there, so it says no disk. I push again and it says USB iPod. I have some Def Leppard playing on there. And just like that, we've got, we've connected the power wires, we've connected the speaker wire, and then we've got the iPod and we've got music just that quickly. It's really that easy. The only thing is just remember to make sure you match up your positive to your positive, your negative to your negative, and your system will fire up. Notice I'm controlling the uh, head unit, or the iPod from the head unit. Okay, sorry. Um, Really, that's it. I mean, it's really that simple. We've got the head units. We got the head unit powered up. We've got the USB iPod connected. We've got all four speakers fired up. Uh, the next section in this video series is going to be actually hooking up amplifiers.